name's Dave Rumsey, or everyone calls me Toast. Uh, it's a nickname from the Margate Skins. I've been a skinhead, I suppose, oh, 39 years. Contrary to popular beliefs, it didn't come from Jamaica, like some of them say. Um, skinheads came from mod. It was mods, younger brothers, looking for a harder sound, a different thing, so they got into reggae. They, they adopted reggae, soul, and some of the mod music, and some of the pop music at the time. A skinhead dress is Ben Sherman's shirt, Brutus shirt. Um, some people choose vintage stuff. Um, depends on what, what, what you're into. Uh, I, I quite like gingham checks, they're more traditional for me. Um, Levi jeans, 501s, Wranglers, uh, Lee jeans, uh, and then footwear is, is, is Dr. Martin boots, loafers. So it depends, it depends on the individual and how, what style. The, the media seemed to, in the 80s when we got into it, that there was a Politics were taking a big thing. The Tories had come into power. We had, a, you know, years of Labour, the winter of discontent and stuff like that. And the National Front started to, to try and disaffected youth. And skinheads were those disaffected youth. And, and so the, the right wing started to try and latch onto them. And so the media then latched onto that. And the stereotype came that, that most skinheads are racist. But actually at the time, it was only a very small minority. Maybe, maybe being a skinhead has closed a, a number of doors for me. But... Through, through work and stuff like that because of you know the, the stereotype the what the media say put first impressions of people you know maybe they think you know he looks quite aggressive but on the other hand you know I wrote a fanzine in the 90s promoting ska music that I love and through that I got a job so so it has done things for me I've, I've written sleeve notes on CDs you know I've promoted what I believe is the thing we put gigs on I DJ so I, I think it's a good thing I, you know I can't I've got no regrets for me, it, it was we were asked this for a Channel 4 documentary and I equated it to being like a knight. And we all laughed and giggled and all that. But when you broke it down, it was about honour, having respect for people. It was, it was all about being working class, knowing your roots, having pride in yourself, but not, be, not being a mug. And I think that was the best time for me when I was skinhead. Because you go to gigs, you weren't having fights. You weren't, it was, everyone was into it. And it was all about the music. And, from a point of a subculture, it's almost like for us, we've been dogged by these people who have come back to it. So like, like the bikers before, probably with these people who, who buy a Harley Davidson in their 40s and, you know, oh, it's a midlife crisis for these guys. They they become bikers, but they're not real bikers. The same things happen for skinheads. Back in, back to, back in 68, 69, there was loads of scooters left over. So some skins did ride scooters. But they, basically, they were sort of mods, hard mods. They were called peanuts. And the reason they're called peanuts because of the noise the scooter made, allegedly. It wasn't until 1969, I believe it was the Daily Mirror coined the word skinhead. And that's when it all came. And... A lot of people say, you know, the original skinheads that I know, that once they said that and everybody became skinheads and it blew into this big, massive thing, that's when it died.